Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ, blesses cuts from the street. And look, we out here in Chicago, and we about to interview people from the infamous old block. We're going to go in and get the people, you know what I'm saying, their thought process on what it's like being here in Chicago, being here around the violence that comes from Chicago, and you know what I'm saying, the youth, and how the music affect everything that goes on in this city. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, look, y'all stay tuned. We about to head in. Most High Christ bless. Most High Christ bless. Long Israel, Soldier Jeremiah. This is another edition of Cuts from the Streets, and I'm with D'Angelo. D'Angelo. Shalom, Officer Bezalel. I'm here with Takara Holton. Latrell Rush. Shalom, Shalom. I'm Officer Eli. Hey, this is another edition of Cuts from the Street. I'm here with my sister, Monet. Sean. Uh, Jamari. Hey, so Miss Monet, can you tell me where we are today? We in Parkway Gardens, King Drive. 60 film. What, 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 uh, I heard this the old block. What's up with the old block? It's really nothing to it. It's just people living to die and dying to live. People, people living to die and, and to they trying to get to it. Yeah, a lot of people out here is either older, older, uh, older people or it's like the younger women that's moving the black men in. They try to get them off the streets, but they all just end up here. I am. So how long you been staying, if you don't mind me asking? You been in this area for a minute? Yeah, I've been staying here for about three years now. So what's the violence like over here? Is it really bad, like people try to portray it, or is it actually nice, or it's actually reasonable? It's reasonable. It's okay. very reasonable, especially since they set the love. Yeah, they changed it up a lot, trying okay. to... But it, it it don't stop like the, the shootings and stuff, but it it calm it down. You familiar with this apartment complex yes. that's behind yes, What I is am. the name of this apartment complex? Um, Parkway Gardens. O AKA Block. AKA O Block. Yeah. O Block. So what is this apartment known for in society when it's coming to Violence. deal with all Violence. 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 Amongst who? Is this violent amongst the other nations? Yeah. No, so they they basically have violence amongst the other nations, amongst white people, black. It just they own. Who? They own. Black. They own. So where are we at? Where are we at right now, D'Angelo? We in Parkway Gardens. They call it the O Block. Call it Miss O Block. Yeah. So tell me what it's like to live in the O Block. Shit, it look like a prison camp. A prison camp. Yeah, man. One way in, one way out. Well, can you speak to the violence this? Um, no, O Block got a. Two and a half, mama. Yeah, O Block got a reputation, or um, what you want to call it. Uh, um, yeah, basically a reputation of being a violent place. What's your experience? I mean, there's violence everywhere, but I think uh, seeing on the TV, they put more on it than what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, because there's some good people on the other side of this gate. Right. In your 22 years of staying over here, is it a lot of crime, a lot of violence? I ain't gonna say it is, but it's like typical in every neighborhood. But no, not really. We really be over here. It's a safe neighborhood. It's a safe Anybody neighborhood. Anybody could come over here. Yeah. It, come on now, come on, bro. Now, now, when you made that statement, I was agreeing with everything until you said anybody can I'm come like over here. Any, like if you were, like anybody that's like not so really somebody like, from '64. Anybody that ain't on bull, like on bullshit, you come over here. Like if we just come to chill, kick it, you can. It ain't gonna be nothing. So, they, so if they, if, if just a random come over here and walk through O Block, will they, will they basically, will, will, they, uh, will they be, will they had an ops call on them? Cause I didn't see videos where <laughs> where they did, and they was like, "Hey, where you from?" He was like, "Hey, man, I'm over here visiting the female." He was like, "Hey, man, you want me to call them off so you?" And he was like, "Oh, no, 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 don't call off so so." Explain, help me understand right. that. Now, that's just what that'd be a little different because people be knowing what they doing. So like, if somebody, it'd be people that be trying to come over here that don't supposed to be over here uh -huh. and still try to get through, and then it end up a whole different situation. But. Like, if anybody just trying to come through, see that girl, oh, we ain't got nothing to do with that, go ahead. We ain't gonna stop you or none of that. You okay. all good. But if you, if you, if, if you on bull, if crap, you on bull, then, then that's when bull, you know, more stuff go on. You know that's who? You know, the extra stuff, you know, all the crimes that get to going on or fights and all that. And typically, who those people look like? Do they look like other nations or do they look like us? They look like us. They look like us, which we call the ops yeah. or folk. Yeah. Miss Rush. Yes. So, Miss Rush, how long have you been staying over here? Um, some years, but I've been in Parkway for six years. You've been in Parkway for six years. What's yes. the um, Parkway known 
It has a nickname. What's the nickname to these apartments? Now, you know what? I don't know the nickname. So you, they don't, you not familiar with them calling this area O Block? Uh-uh, no I'm not. See, that's no, that's, I'm not. that's um that's amazing right there. No, but what's your um experience with living over here as far as crime rate and violence? It's terrible. It is. It's terrible, it's unnecessary, it's uncalled for, okay? Mm -hmm. And we need some unity. We yeah. need some unity for our community, okay? That's so right. we can come together, all right? Right. And stop killing each other, okay? Mm-hmm. Because that's all that the white man won't see. So and they, they fail to realize to understand that, okay? Right. God made us black. We got the power. We have the power, okay? But if we don't stick together, how are we going to use the power? When we think about the black on black crime and the violence that's going on in the community, even stuff like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, so. Like, how do one get comfortable with this type of living, or is it just, like you said? You just adapt to what you is. You either in it or you not. It's like, I don't know. I adapt, I adapt quickly because I come from the hood, period. But right. I know how to maneuver around it, you know. Yeah, it's just. So would you say it's a, like, what's the, like, what's a normal day in O Block? Like, what's the, what type of day you have in O Block? Like just a, on a regular. A smooth day like any other hood. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like any other hood. Only thing is, it's gated up. So explain the terminology. On, on, they, I know they be saying um, um, on folk nim, um, yeah, so like, on I, BD. I, I, explain all the terminology. I, I, what are the I mean, terminology that you know? Everybody was all as one, but then, you know, people got the dissing, killing each other. So it's like it's one side against the other side. So it's like it's separate, like we black and white, but... You know, this is how it be in certain hoods. Right, right. Hey, give me that, give me that in Leviticus 19, and then we're gonna get Proverbs 1, eight, one um, in like 18, real quick. 19, 17. Uh huh. In regards to the separatism that goes on amongst, you know, our brothers in the hood. Read what you got. This book of Leviticus, chapter Come over here. 19, Come verse over here. 17. Uh huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So it's gonna tell you who your brother is. Remember I said, do they look like us or do they look like other nations? Read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, thy neighbor, thy neighbor read, and not suffer sin upon him. Uh-huh. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge. Nor do what? Nor bear any grudge. Because we got a problem with grudging against our brothers that look like us, that's from, that rep another set. For sure. Read. Against the children of thy people. Against who? Against the children of thy people. Those are our brothers. The brothers that look like us, that we that we call the ops, that we call folk nymph, that, that that rep a different game because over here the gang is they, they rep the black disciples, right? Yeah. So the the ops would be the Cactus disciples, right? Yeah. I, I don't because because with, with the black disciples, um, you have David um, Boxdale created that in 1966, yeah. and then you had the gang, gangster disciple that was created by who? Larry. By Larry Hoover in 68. So here it is. You got gangs that was created two years apart, right apart. and in the same vicinity. Yeah. Meanwhile, we got our brothers in tour with each, other. Tour with each other. Yeah, that all supposed to be as one. It, we all supposed to be one. Guess what gang we supposed to be a part of? Give me that in Ezekiel 37. Guess what? Because here it is. You got the black disciples and the gangster disciples, right? Mm -hmm. Guess what disciples we supposed to be? We supposed to be God disciples. We were supposed to be, <laughs> but we we repping things that was created by men yeah. instead of things that was created by God. We gods that walk the face of the earth. That's the reason why we can run the fastest, jump the highest. We can do everything better than everybody. But meanwhile, why are we? we it's a bunch of hate because we ain't keeping what we supposed to be keeping out of this book, being God disciples. We gotta learn to love one and, another. And, and that's our problem. Okay, that's the problem, see what I'm saying? Because it's so much hatred, especially selling these damn drugs out here, mm -hmm. okay? Now that's the problem, because they go against each other, okay? Because one is sold more than the other, okay? And then, oh, well, I'm gonna kill him because he done made more than me. Oh, I'm gonna kill him, okay, cause, cause, because he got, he got more than me. That's selfish, that's selfish. Okay, and that's uncalled for. It really is. It's unnecessary.
And it's not by coincidence that we're experiencing these things in our neighborhoods, right? No, so listen, it's I want not. you to listen to this right here, verse 1. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the words of the Lord, ye children of Israel. So we are here trying to teach our people that you are the children of Israel, God's chosen people. Exactly. And you must conduct yourself a certain way. Read this. Exactly. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. But the Lord have a controversy. He have an issue yes. with our people yes. and how we are yes. today, right? Yes. Because there is no truth, uh -huh. nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. You said there is no yes. truth yes. or mercy. We don't have mercy yes, for one because, another. That's because they don't they don't they don't have God in them. Right. Okay. That's what they need. They How need can the they Lord have God in, them. in them. Because what they need to do is pray. Mm -hmm. Pray. Prayer is one pray. good thing. Cha change your ways and pray. That's change right. your ways and pray. Prayer works. I promise you. Are you familiar with King Vaughn? I'm pretty sure you are. Yeah. So what about the music? this um being portrayed because over here you know chicago is known for what uh drill music right yeah do you think the music that um that's pushed in these type of neighborhoods contribute to the crime i mean i wouldn't so much say that's the music i'm saying that it's the lack of uh influence mm -hmm. you know it's the lack of more powerful influence than other than drill music or killing somebody right you know what i mean we need more positivity or what you guys doing, black men sticking together. Do you think that the, or what they call drill music, do you think it's uh, it influenced the activities that go on in our communities? Yeah, I mean, but the music is created from what they experience out here. So I guess I can't say it influences, but it's like they already, those artists already have that mindset and they already do those actions. Music. But what about the music that's been um Oh the, the music, music is terrible. Right. The, the music is so terrible. You know what? They need to cut that shit out. <laughs> they really do. Okay, because it don't make no sense. Here, I'm gonna stab, I'm gonna stab John, I'm gonna kill, 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 right. kill Tim. Right. For, for what? Okay, that's not music. That's not music. I'ma bust your head, I'ma blow you up. Right. That's not music. See the men that's out here. We are with we are a biblical organization trying to bring our people together and bring awareness to who who they are and how they should conduct exactly. themselves. Give exactly. Give me First Corinthians chapter fifteen and verse uh, thirty-three. Watch this, cause you said some good things right there. Watch this. Everything you said made a whole lot of sense. And it, yes, cause it don't make no sense. It doesn't. Okay. Right. Especially with the music and no, how they. Oh, yes. Well, that's not music. To right. me, that's not music. And, and you know what? To me, with them, with them saying that that's music, making shit like that, mm -hmm. yes, that goes into the, the young generation's ah. mind, okay? You uh, own the song. Watch well, this. Watch this. Let's read this. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, and verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communication. That music, you will agree that the word they speak on that music is evil, it right? It's very evil. It's another form it's of nothing, communication. Yes, it's nothing but the devil. What do that evil music do? Evil communication corrupt good manners. If a person constantly listening, I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna yes. kill you and rob you and do this yes. every day. It's gonna go, it's gonna hit, it's gonna right. go into their mind and say, well, yeah, right. I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that First nigga, 15. I'm gonna get that nigga. First John, no, 15. no. Yes, right. So it's gonna go into their mind and exactly. have their mindset a certain way, yes, right? Yes, it is. So watch yes, it this. Is. It's, it's it's amazing. You on point. This is the book of First John, chapter three and verse fifteen. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. It said, whoever hated a brother is a murderer. And ye know that no murderer have eternal life abiding in him. So if you hate your brother in your mind, you automatically a, 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 a murderer, right? Right. So when you consume that type of music, you you, you get a hateful yes, spirit of yes, yes, And therefore, you, know, you are a murderer. And, but why hate your brother? Mm -hmm. Why hate your brother? Uh, what do you think of uh, correct these issues in the neighborhood right now, all together? All together? All together? Uh, I don't know, cause people people don't like to listen. To be honest, we really don't like to listen. We could tell them something. You know, they tell them something, and they go, they go at one day and go right out the other. So this one thing I feel like um, 
where I know that will change the community if we just apply this, this scripture right here. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. If, if we learn to not hate each other in our heart, your heart is your mind, you know what I'm saying? Keep reading. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke in thy neighbor. We should be able to correct each other, right? Without somebody feeling, uh, getting offended and wanting to kill the next person, right? Because it's hatred. At first, you don't hate them. And allow to be, allow yourself to be corrected, or we should correct each one another when we're going off. Right? And not suffer sin upon him. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. These are commandments that we read. It says, Thou shalt not. So this is a commandment from God. It says, We're not supposed to do these things. We're not supposed to bear any grudge or, or have any vengeance against our brother. But what? But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thy Self, I am the Lord. We gotta learn to love each other. So yeah, of course the, the violence has went down, but in order to get rid of it all together, we're gonna have to start applying the laws of God and learn to love one another, right? So what do you feel that could be done about that? You know what I'm saying? What's something that's positive that you feel like should be pushed into our communities? Uh, more mental health. Uh, systems that help with that because we have that big problem of keeping kids busy, more stable parents in the household, more men in the household, uh, better education systems. Okay, so with that, have you ever seen something like this before? Have you ever seen this out here, period, before? Have I been in this area? No, have you ever seen this out here before? No. Okay, so do you feel like unity like this would be uh, productive to our community? Yeah. In what way? I mean, they can finally hear a positive energy and image of black men and see a group of black men actually getting along, spreading the word, being protective. How often do you see what you see? With all these black men on one accord, so-called Hispanic, so-called Native American, all on one accord with the Bible, ain't no shooting, killing, smoking, nothing, none of that nonsense going on. I don't see none of it. But how did that make you feel? Yeah. I, I feel good right now. You feel good. You feel safe, safe right now. Yeah. You feel safe. But I seen you had a, uh, you went over there to the uh, the men that was over there teaching. Like, what do you think about what you're seeing today? I think it's good because a lot of black men over here don't have these things that y'all saying installed in their head. Right. I think it's, I think it's great. Oh, praise because that's what we're trying to do. We're doing this for an educational platform. We're trying to build the young men up because a lot of our young men don't see their self as being rulers or see their self as being kings. Yeah, they, see, they just see their self as like being a, what you say, the uh, the product or, how you say that? The, oh, okay, the product of our environment. Yeah, yeah, that's what they see their self as. See Understood. And see, and that's what we want to change because according to the Bible, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today, we are God's chosen people. We are the Israelites. We supposed to rule the world. So when you got young men that's out here fighting over a, a block or a gated community that's owned by another nation, it looks crazy when the Most High God said, if we keep the commandments, we will live and he will grant us access to rule the world. You know what I'm saying? So that's our motion. That's our mission for today is to build the people up, come and try to join the community together and show them that it is a better way than just shooting one another or talking bad or fighting or any type of drug dealing or any type of things that they put in our community that help destroy the youth instead of build the youth up. Would you agree? Yeah. And that's, that's the main thing that we displaying right now, trying to display unity out here right now. Exactly. So we, we are a biblical organization and we come from a biblical stand, standpoint and we did speak on violence. So, But the scriptures really speak on a lot of stuff that our people go through who live in conditions like this where um, in projects or, or hoods like this, right? So, hey, can I get um, Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1? Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1. I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures. And, um, Cause the main thing is why why we have to go through these situations because we don't truly know our value, who we are as a people. You know what I'm saying? They put us in these conditions, and therefore we are subject to how they treat us. Right? Hosea chapter four and verse one. It's the book of Hosea chapter four verse one. Hear the words of the Lord. 
you children of Israel. So it said, hear the words of the Lord, O children of Israel. That's what we're trying to teach our people that you are God's chosen people, the children of Israel, right? For the Lord has a controversy. The Lord has a controversy with us. Why? With the inhabitants of the land, mm -hmm. because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge. It said there is no truth or no mercy. So the truth is the laws of God. But look how we treat one another. It's no mercy as well, right? We have no mercy upon one another. Keep, let's keep reading. It says no truth, no mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land by swearing and lying mm -hmm. and killing. A lot of swearing, a lot of lying, a lot of killing going on, right? You agree? Mm -hmm. And stealing and, com and committing adultery. And a lot of fornication, committing adultery, sleeping with other people, women and stuff. That's going on in our communities, right? They break out and blood touches blood. They do what? They break out and blood touches blood. Do a lot of killing happen over here? A lot of shooting? I see a lot of shooting, not a lot of killing. A lot of shooting? Yes, yeah, a lot of shooting, but it's, it's like I said, it's more hyped up than what it really is. Right, okay. You know? So it's, it's mainly just a lot of a lot of shooting, a lot of, but it's still blood it's still touching blood. It's still unnecessary violence and blood touching blood, like you said. Right. And that scripture right there, uh, go, jump down to verse 6. Let me get verse 6 real quick. My peop, verse 6, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. But we go, we, we do this to each other, we treat each other like this because we're destroyed for a lack of knowledge, right? Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. So the knowledge that we rejecting is the laws of God. And if we, if we learn to accept the laws of God, God will no longer reject us like he said he's rejecting us right now. Mm -hmm. So that's the message we out here trying to bring to our people is that we need to um, restore our communities back up with the laws of God by knowing who we are, the children of Israel. How do God say we supposed to conduct ourselves? Do we supposed to conduct ourselves in gang affiliation? Give me that in no. Proverbs. Proverbs 1 and verse 10. Say no. that again. No. Why? Because what it does. God created us. When he first created us, he created us to live forever. And be equal. And be So now what they're doing over there mm -hmm. is doing what to our lifestyle? Our, 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 is it prolonging our life or is it shortening our it's life? Shortening our life. Shortening our life. Yeah. yeah. All because we study consistently breaking God's laws. Yeah. Read what you got. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 10. Uh -huh. My son, if sinners entice thee, uh -huh. consent thou not. It says if sinner come to you, don't consent with them. Right. Read. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lay wait. Don't they, don't they do that? Yep. Let us lay wait for blood against the ops. Yep. And the ops look just like them. Yep. Read. Let us lurk privily. Let us lurk. Man, let us go lurk, man. Let us let us run up on this dude, man. Read. For the innocent without cause. For the innocent without cause. Let us rob him. Let us take yeah. let us take what Bible called booties or spoils. Let us rob him for his change. You know what I'm saying? So on and so forth. Verse 12. Let us swallow them up. Elite. What is it? Alive. Let mm -hmm. us swallow them up alive as the grave. Mm -hmm. As the what? As the grave. And what ultimately, the decisions that they make from the violent acts that they commit, where they end up at? In the grave. Which ultimately, give me that in Matthew 26, 52 real quick. Which ultimately leads to where God said, which you familiar with the scripture, if you live by the sword. You die by the sword. You what? You die by the sword. You live by, you die by. Yeah. Now, the King Von, because he was affiliated with Old Block, yeah. did he live by the sword? Yeah. So what happened to him? He died by the sword. So is this a true book? Yes, it is. This is indeed a true book. Read what you got. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 26 and verse 52. Mm -hmm. Then said Jesus unto him, put up again thy sword. It says, put up again thy sword. Because back then in ancient times, guess what? To protect yourself, you had to basically create a knot. Yeah. Right. Put up again thy sword into his place. Uh -huh. For all they that take the sword mm -hmm. shall perish with the sword. So if you taking people's lives... If you're killing people, if you commit a certain murderous act, right. even with hatred, God considered as murder. Yeah. God said, guess what? Murder is going to come to you. Yeah. That death spirit that you're putting out mm -hmm. is going to return. Gonna return. You're going to reap what you sow. That's the boomerang effect. Right, that's the boomerang effect. So, so. what's another word for uh, changing? What our people must do? What's another word come for together. changing? 
biblically. Have you ever, uh, are you familiar with repentance? Oh, yes. yes. See? Yes. That's the word I was looking for. Yes, repent. and that's what our people need yes. to come to realize. That's what you need to do. Uh -huh. You need to get on your knees and repent, okay? Uh -huh. Once you repent, pray, but you got to be sincere. If you're not sincere, he won't hear you. Right. He won't hear you. I Promise up to God he won't hear you. Because God don't hear sinners, but we're going to get okay. these right here. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent, repent, ye therefore, and be converted. And be converted. You got to repent. I mean, what, what converts us, though? What's going to convert us? Being converted is what you said, change. Yes, yes. So we got to repent from our, uh, exactly. what, the ways that we are in the community. Exactly. But we have to change, right? Exactly. What's going to change our people? Check this, out. this is the book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The law of the Lord is what's going to convert our mind. So meanwhile, we got a whole apartment complex, Parkway Garden, that's named Old Block. Where that name come from? O.D. Perry. O.D. Perry, he died, right? And they named it after him. Read what you got. So I prophesied as he commanded me, uh -huh. and the breath came into them. The breath is these words that we supposed to be following, Reed. Right? And they live mm -hmm. and stood up upon their feet. That's what you see. You see brothers all the way around standing up yeah. on their feet. Yeah. How often do you see this? That's the reason why it's important for y'all to see this because we can show you that the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans can agree on one thing and we all be on one accord with peace and no violence breaking out. Nobody's gonna leave here amongst us with bloodshed or bodily harm or their lives taken away from them. Read on. An exceeding great army. Exceeding what? Exceeding great army. That's what we come here. We come here to show y'all that army that y'all supposed to be a part of instead of the gang violence and the gang communities that y'all basically are a part of that goes against each other. So that's the thing. Give me that in um, Matthew 26, I think, 50, 52. Matthew 26, 52, and we're going to wrap it up real quick. Because... A lot of killing go on. We, and we just saw a lot of videos where brothers got AK 47s, brothers got Dracos, brothers got the, because they said it's sticks. They got the sticks. Everybody got extendos. They got the switches on them just and everything. We, listen, we live this life. When we come and why we talking to you, how we know all this stuff, because we live this life. We was a part of the same thing that our brothers are part of. That's the reason why we feel like, hey, we need to go out to these same Change. brothers that we once were to change their mindset just like our mindset was changed by the word of God. But read what you got. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 52. Uh -huh. Then Jesus said unto him, put up uh, put up again thy sword into his place. It says, put up again thy sword. Back then they had knives and sword. Guess what a sword is today? A gun. A gun. Read. For all they that take the, take the sword. So all they that take the sword and, and punish people by it, kill people by it, read. Shall perish with the sword. You're going to perish with the sword. Every person you know, even our brother on um, King Von, he lived by the sword. He was causing havoc out there. Hey, he was about that life. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of brothers that was about that life. But ultimately, where does that lead them? Dead or jail. Yeah, right. Dead or jail. Now we got to look at him as a, a picture of him on the wall in regards to because that hatred that we have amongst each other. And they got to stop, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, all praise. We got a, we got a chance to conduct an interview. Which, what's your name again? D-Mac. D-Mac. I say, hey, that's another cuss from the street with my brother D-Mac. Shalom, Israel. Most high in Christ bless. Hey, Shalom, Israel. Most high in Christ bless. Hey, another cuss from the street edition out here in Chicago, Illinois. Hey, we here with the Parkway Garden, but you know me, old block. Hey, a lot of interviews was conducted. We got the mind of all people, see where they at, see how they felt about it. Look, we went to the gates to try to come in. Guess what they did? They turned the prophets of the Most High God down in God's word. That's the reason why it's a real heavy spirit of killing in them. We conduct the spirit. Some of our brothers and sisters agree. Some of them disagree. But we still hope we touch one soul. We came out here only for one soul, this rap. And hopefully, we got that soul. And so with that, we say shalom.
Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 